I want to show you how to make a acetone vapor treatment for your 3D printed stuff. And this is how I do it. A lot of people is saying that it's unsafe to do it with heat and I don't think it is. Um, I'm using uh, a lot of water in my in my treatment so it won't catch fire. I'm using a furnace, you know, a table furnace to do this. Um, just put some water in there, place the furnace on top. Where's the cup? There it is. So this is the part I want to make the treatment on. It's a small key ring quadcopter. So put some acetone in here. Place the cup in there. I have to do this with one hand, so it's kind of difficult. So, place. Use some some standoff so the the model is uh, coming a place higher than the the cup. I have put some screws in there just to make another standoff. The acetone will start to boil at about 56 degrees Celsius. So we don't need that much heat from the, the stove. I'm gonna place this one on top here. Shit, sorry for my bad filming. And just turn it on. The acetone is going to start bowl, bowling, boiling. Uh, a long time before the water starts to boil. As you can see in there, it sits very nice. So I'm gonna come back when it starts to boiling. So this is about 20 seconds later and as you can see in there it had already started to boil. Keep your fan on. Now I will turn the stove off. It will keep boiling. The water is about maybe 80 degrees, so it will take a long time to get below 56 degrees when the acetone is boiling. And again, keep your fan on. Don't want to breathe in the vapors from the acetone and not get, in, get it get it inside your eyes either so I'm gonna leave it here for a couple of minutes and then come back again with the results so I have cooked it for about three minutes now start to look real nice I am going to cook it for about one more minute and then you're gonna see the result And here is the finished product. It looks amazing. I'm just gonna let it cool down for a while and use it in my keyring. So, have a nice day.